Hi, welcome to the video tutorial on solved previous university questions on calculation of rebate on bills discount. Myself, Dr. Abbas Watoli, Assistant Professor of Commerce, Amal College of Advanced Studies, Nilambo. Interaction This topic is included in the chapter Accounting for Banking Companies. For BCom degree, University of Calicut. It's a frequently repeated topic in the university examinations over the years. In the slides to come, I will be discussing about meaning of bill of exchange, meaning of rebate on bills discounter, general entry for accounting rebate on bills discounter, solve the previous university questions on calculation of rebate on bills discount. Two frequently asked form of questions are included in this video. Meaning of Bill of Exchange A Bill of Exchange is a document used in trade to pay for goods or services. It is like a check or promissory note in which the seller orders the buyer to pay a particular amount within a given period of time. The seller can avail Facility of discounting of bills with the bank. For the banker, discounting is a form of lending, and for the holder of the bill, discounting means encashing future dated bills from the bank at a discount. For example, A Limited is having a bill of exchange of face value of rupees 5000 payable after three months, can now submit it to the bank. And receive rupees 4500 after deducting rupees 500 as discount. This discount is the interest charged by the bank and it represents income of the bank. Meaning of rebate on bills discount. It is also known as discount received in advance or unexpired discount or discount received but not earned. It represents the unearned interest for those bills which will mature after the close of the financial year. Its treatment in the final accounts of banking companies is same as we do in the case of interest received in advance. If it is given only in the trial balance, the same will be shown as a liability in the balance sheet. If it is given in adjustment, it is deducted from interest earned in the profit and loss account and shown on liability side under the head other liabilities. The general entry for accounting rebate on bills discounted is interest and discount account debtor to rebate on bills discounted account being rebate on bills discounted adjusted. Here is a solved problem. This question was asked in March 2006 for BCom examination by University of Connecticut. Calculate rebate on bills discounted as on 31st March 1994 from the following data and show journal entry to record it. Issue date of the bill is given. Face value of the bill is given. Maturity period of the bill is given and discount rate is given. In the question. So solution, calculation of rebate on bills discount. In the first bill, January 10 is the issue date, 5 month expire. So to find out the due date or expiry date, add 5 months to January 10. So February, March, April, May, June. Plus 10 plus 3 days grace period is added to every bill. So June 13 is the expiry date. Now days remaining after the close of the financial year, that is after March 31st, April, May, June, 30 days in April, 31 days in May and this 13 days in June, so 30 plus 31 plus 13, 74 days. So 25,000 is the face value, 8% is the rate of discount applicable. So the total interest is 25,000 into 8 by 100. The interest relating to the 
next period that is unexpired interest is into 74 by 365 that is 405 in the case of first period actually this 405 is not relating to the current accounting period it relates to the next accounting period so this amount is to be deducted from the interest income in the profit and loss account so in this case of this bill february 5 is the issue date we need to add four months so march april may june this 5 plus 3 days grace period so june 8 is the expiry date so days remaining after the accounting period is that is after march 31st is april may june 30 in april 31 in may plus 8 so 30 plus 31 61 61 plus 8 69 days so here the unexpired interest is 198 rupees so in this case february 20 is the issue date four months to be added so march april may june 20 plus three days grace period so 23 june 23 so total 84 days are there after the close of the financial year so for 20000 face value at the rate of 7% for 84 days is 322 similarly in this case march 15 is the issue date and 3 months april may june 15 plus 3 days grace period that is june 18 so total 79 days after the march 31st so 30000 into 9 by 100 into 79 by 365 is 584 that means a total of 1509 is the unexpired or unearned interest this amount is to be deducted from income earned interest earned in the profit and loss account and should be shown in the balance sheet as a other liability the journal entry for this adjustment is interest and discount account debtor 1509 to rebate on bills discounted 1509 being rebate for bills discounted record here is another problem this question is asked in March 2008 BCom degree exam on 31st March 1994 a bank held the following bills discounted by it earlier date of the bill amount this is the maturity period and this is the rate of discount applicable you are required to calculate rebate on bills discounted and show journal entries solution calculate rebate on bills discount in the case of first bill january 17 is the issue date we need to add four months so february march april and may and 17 plus three days grace period it become may 20. so days remaining after the financial year that is after march 31st so april 30 days and may 20 days 30 plus 20 50 days so the interest for that period is 85,000 in this case February 7 plus 3 months March April May 7 plus 3 days of grace period May 10 40 days is remaining after financial year so interest is 14,400 in this case May 9 is the issue date add 3 months March 9 is the issue date add 3 months April May June 9 plus 3 grace period that is June 12 73 days 6370 is the interest unearned with respect to this bill the total interest unearned is 29370 during the financial year so it should be deducted from the interest income in the profit and loss account and it should be shown in the balance sheet as other liabilities the general entry for this adjustment is interest and discount account debtor 29370 to rebate on bills discount account 29 1370 narration being rebate for bills discounted record thank you for watching you can reach me at abbasvatoli at the rate yahoo.com